Hello, my name is Aaliyah Bell and I am a consulting partner for Fixer Upper. And I work alongside my colleagues helping to make restaurant owners' dreams come to fruition. I look forward to sharing with you all today about some of the things we do, a little company, history, background, the services we provide, and how we will be helping you. To kick things off, I would like to share a little history behind our company name. The name Fixer Upper is a play on words. Fixer Upper is commonly a phrase used to describe houses that need repairs or renovations, but since we are dealing with restaurants, we use the word supper instead. We at Fixer Upper realize that smaller restaurants may need help marketing and getting their name out there, and we strive to do as such. Oftentimes, many restaurants fail because of internal conflicts and the lack of development and unsuccessful marketing strategy strategies. Did you know that according to the National Restaurant Association, there is around a 20% success rate for all restaurants, while around 60% of restaurants fail within their first year of operation, and around 80% of restaurants fail within five years of opening. The goal of Fixer Upper is to create a family-like environment that lasts a lifetime and help reach restaurants' highest potential. Founded four years ago, Fixer Supper started when a married couple saw a need to fix and repair a relative's restaurant. The couple had such great success with repairing the relative's restaurant and found a strong passion for this opportunity and decided to create their own consulting company. From a client standpoint, we understand why one might be a little skeptical about entrusting a startup firm with your business, but our work speaks for itself and speaks nothing other than success and happy working relationships. We received our popularity from working with small restaurants such as Blue Rose Art Bistro, Los Chapos Tacos, and McGuire's Irish Pub. We are determined and dedicated to helping small town restaurants achieve success and plan to continue to do so for many years to come. Before we get started, I would like to give you guys a little background about myself and my working with the company. As a member of the team, I provide recommendations to assist in the improvement or maintenance of a restaurant's image, communication, and customer service. In the company's early stages, the consulting team discovered their need for another team member who could focus on improving customer experience. While this position was originally temporary, the team saw that it filled a huge void that was holding them back from reaching their full position potential, and I was offered a full-time position. After successfully completing my third project as a member of the team, I have been part of this incredible team for a little over two years now. And together, we have successfully helped a multitude of restaurants. Before joining the team, I was a public relations specialist for a small company out of Sandy Springs, Georgia. I worked in relations to the communications director to supply public and media relations support for a chain of candy stores. Combining my prior knowledge in public relations and extended knowledge in customer service, I am able to assist in helping restaurants fix, protect, and maintain a healthy image. Part of my previous job in public relations and acquired knowledge and experience working with Fixer Supper, I am able to analyze the data feedback given, and provide restaurant owners and employees with what their main focus should be on to better themselves for their clients and potential clients. I believe it is important you are aware of my and my team's skills and abilities because sometimes owners and employees may be too close to the problem to identify it, and it is crucial that you trust the eyes working to fix your situation. Now I would like to go over a little bit of y'all's company background and the plan we are wanting to put in action and one of the tools we plan on implementing that will really help you guys. So established in 1990, Williams and Brothers Barbecue is a flourishing restaurant and catering business. Over the years, Williams and Brothers has expanded its brand by selling merchandise such as clothing, hats, and cups. The restaurant also sells perishable items such as jerky, pork rinds, and a variety of bottled sauces. While Williams & Brothers is such a successful company, we have observed some areas that could use some improvement. 
We are glad we are able to work with the company as soon as we can. We believe the faster we can get to work with the company, the faster we can stay ahead of competitors and other outside threats. Fortunately, with the use of data analyzing tools such as SWOT analysis charts, we are certain we can help. A SWOT analysis chart is one of our favorite data analyzing tools that we like to use when working with a company. To effectively plan ahead for our clients, we like to prepare this type of chart to aid in any decision making and changes that must be made. We love how a SWOT analysis chart gives us and our clients a visual aid. Another useful trait of a SWOT analysis chart is the convenience of being able to compare and contrast businesses and competitors without the hassle of a multitude of charts and paperwork that can easily get lost. These competitors include Fox Bros Barbecue, Shane's Rib Shack, and City Barbecue. These are our top competitors. It is important that our clients know that we are not the only ones who have access to these reviews that customers are leaving. A lot of competitors will go on y'all sites and read them and take advantage of them. So like I said before, I am so glad that we are getting to work now. Next, I would like to go over some of the strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities and threats we observe just to give you guys an idea of how a SWOT analysis chart works for and how effective it is. Based on some reviews we observe, some strengths of the restaurant are great service, a homey welcome interior, and fast service. A specific strength we would like to highlight is found in a review made by Tom Sansom. Sansom describes how his server was able to manage the orders of multiple customers while still being attentive and polite. These are reviews we love to see. Moving on, some weaknesses we observed based on some online reviews are as followed. Some customers experienced dirty tables and dining areas, cold, dry food, and distasteful limited side options. A weakness that stood out to our team when working with the company was one by Cheryl Elise Wade. This review stood out to us because she highlighted negative things that were brought up in multiple reviews multiple times. Unfortunately, this customer experienced cold food along with a dirty dining area. As a restaurant, a review like this is one that needs to be addressed immediately because it poses a threat. When competitors see stuff like this, they can hone in on that and it could really do some damage. So now that you've had a chance to go over some of the data on your SWOT analysis chart, I would like to present to you some of the recommendations that me and my colleagues have come to the conclusion to that we believe you guys will really benefit from. The first recommendation we have is suggestion for employees to check for cleanliness of the establishment more often throughout their work shifts. The last thing a customer wants to see when trying to enjoy a meal is a dirty table, so we believe we can alleviate that by cleaning more throughout the day so stuff isn't getting a chance to pile up and customers are not having to see it. The next recommendation we have is we would like to offer more quality control over food. 
We believe if the business took a little bit more time to check the quality of food, such as the temperature before it is served, they can cut back on reviews like the one we discussed up earlier regarding cold, dry food. The last recommend recommendation we have regarding the menu options is maybe trying to expand or change up the side dishes we offer to customers. So, in conclusion, our main goal is to make sure our clients are happy and that we are providing them with the necessities to reach their full potential. We at Fixer Supper enjoy working with your business and we are confident that the plan we have set in action will help your business flourish. Now, I just briefly went over what we would like to do, but um, we have provided you guys with a copy of our SWOT analysis chart so you always have access to it. And I want you to walk away knowing that our working relationship does not have to end here. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me or any of my colleagues. And to thank you for entrusting us with your business, we would like to give you all with a takeaway item with our logo on it so you can always remember us and know that we are always there for you and your business. Thank you for joining me here today and I hope that I was able to give you guys a little bit of insight on what we did for your company.